Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now, today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 12th of August 1570, Lady Ursula Stafford, only daughter of the late Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, died. Here are some facts about this interesting Tudor lady. Ursula was born in around 1504 and was the only daughter of Sir Richard Pole and his wife Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, in her own right. Ursula's maternal grandparents were George, Duke of Clarence, brother of Kings Edward IV and Richard III, and his wife Isabella Neville. So Ursula had Plantagenet blood. Ursula's father died in 1505 when she was just a baby. Ursula is first recorded in the court records in 1513, when she was about nine years old, and King Henry VIII granted his dear and well-beloved cousin gowns, kirtles and fabric. In October 1518, when she was about 14, she married Henry Stafford, son and heir of Edward Stafford, 3rd Duke of Buckingham, and went to live in the Duke's household. They went on to have around 14 children together, the first being born in 1520. In 1521, Ursula's father-in-law was executed as a traitor, and although Henry and Ursula were granted some of his lands, the most valuable ones were taken and given to others. Their daughter Margaret was placed with her grandmother, the Countess of Salisbury, and their daughter Dorothy with Princess Elizabeth to help the Stafford's financial situation. In 1538, Ursula's brothers, Henry I Baron Montague and Geoffrey, and her mother, the Countess, were accused of treason and arrested. It was said they'd been corresponding with Ursula's other brother, Cardinal Reginald Pole, who'd famously fallen out with King Henry VIII after speaking out against the annulment of his first marriage. Montague and the Countess were executed and Geoffrey was pardoned after he tried to commit suicide twice during his imprisonment in the tower. The Countess's execution was particularly unsavoury. She was a frail 67-year-old and had done nothing. I'll give you a link to my video on her execution. Ursula was lucky to survive her family's fall. Ursula went on to have close relationships with Montague's daughter Catherine, Countess of Huntingdon, her niece, and also, after his return to England in Mary I's reign, her brother Reginald, who became Archbishop of Canterbury. Her husband died in 1563, and their son Henry became second Baron Stafford, but only for two years, as he died in 1565. His younger brother Edward inherited the title, becoming third Baron Stafford. Ursula died on this day in Tudor history, the 12th of August, 1570, at about the age of 66. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 12th of August 1560, Thomas Fair, translator, lawyer, physician and paediatrician, made his will after suffering an accident. Fair became known as the father of English paediatrics for his works, which included the Book of Children. And in last year's video, I shared some details about this man and also some of his rather interesting remedies for caring for children. So I'll give you a link to that so that you can watch that. Thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. You can give me a like and leave me a comment. And don't forget to check out the description for links to other videos. Thank you. Take care.